project, working on a Yamaha what is it? SZ6. Ashley's bike she brought back for some more work doing oil change, air filter, spark plugs, brake pads, clean and adjust the chain. So it should work good. Here's a close up of it. Real nice bike. Just in the middle of doing oil change. Super simple on this bike. Look down here, I put a piece of cardboard to cover the exhaust so oil wouldn't drip on it. Drain plug is right there, and the oil filter is right above it. Spin both off, drain it. The fill's on the other side. your fill and your dipstick is right down here. So it's just a matter of letting it all drain out, filling it up with the right amount. It could be simpler. Yamaha did this one good. The oil capacity on this 2007 model is 2.8 liters if you change the oil filter as well. To do the spark plugs on this bike, you have to drain the radiator. So I pulled the bottom hose off here to drain it. And then the top one off just to be able to move it around some more. I did all the work from the right side of the bike. So these three coot lines come off the radiator and then there's one bolt at the top, one bolt at the bottom. Super simple to find. And I didn't bother taking it off. You can just push it out of the way enough where you can get in here and change the spark plugs down in here. Unfortunately, she was given the wrong ones, so they don't fit. So she's gonna come by later tonight up when she's done work and exchange them tomorrow. And I'll be able to button that up. So just finished up cleaning the chain, relubing it. I used one of these spiral brush deals for cleaning it along with the cleaner. So get the big chunkies off and then just a good towel, give it a good wipe, and then with a clean towel, spray on some lube. Just use the clean towel to prevent overspray. She was thinking of replacing a chain sooner than later, probably a, not a half decent, decent idea, as it's starting to rust, but it's still in good shape. Sprockets are still in, in good shape. Next, I'm going to tighten the chain. I measured it. You measure from here to the bottom. Sorry, from here to the bottom with it all the way pushed down. And you want the measurement to be between one and three quarters to two and one quarter inches. This one's almost at three, so way too much slack to adjust it. What you want to do is loosen off the axle bolt, and then there's two little adjusters, the jam nut to keep everything tight, and the adjuster bolt on both sides. You'll want to use these marks on the back here to keep the rear, rear wheel square. So let's tighten it up. So there we go. I should mention when adjusting the chain, you'll want the tire on a center stand or some sort of jack so the rear wheel's off the ground. 
I've got it measured right in the middle at two inches, so we're good to go. Lastly, we're going to be changing the air filter. It's in the air box, which is under the gas tank. Pretty simple to get at. There's two Allen bolts holding this inner piece that I've taken out. You do that on both sides. And then there's two Allen bolts hold the front of the tank down and a 10 mil holding the back. I left that one alone. If you undo the front, it'll simply just hinge up. And if you want, you can unplug the wires and hoses and take the tank right off. I'm just going to stick a block of wood in there because here's the air box. Just a few screws and the lid should come off. So lots of access with the tank up like this here. Here's the air box lid out of the bike. Kind of convenient that the filter came with it. As you can see, super dirty. So we got a brand new filter to go in. Should be as simple as just sliding it out here. Let's take a look. Just slides out. Just got a brand new OEM replacement. Slide the new one in and we'll install it back on the bike. Tip when it comes to adjusting the chain. After I was just rolling around the shop a little bit, you could hear the chain kind of rubbing on the sprocket. It just sounded like it was fighting each other. So I loosened the chain off a little bit, uh, maybe an eighth inch or so and uh, the noise is gone. So it'll be a lot quieter while riding. So maybe these bikes are just a little more liking a loose chain rather than a tight chain. I'm still in spec, um, but pushing the, the maximum at two and a quarter. So it's the next day, Ashley just dropped off new spark plugs. She got these E3 ones. And first thing I said to her is they got the wrong top again. This lady at the store says apparently that top comes off, which is news to me. It actually does unthread. So I just thought I'd tip for the day, show you guys how to do that. So here we are, brand new spark plug, one of these E3 ones, and we're going to take the top off. It's quite stuck on there just a matter of unthreading it. So I use 5 8 wrench, good set of pliers, and you just kind of wiggle it back and forth until it's able to thread off nicely. I didn't know this was even a thing until she brought them by, so there you go. And that little fit these plug wires. I'm just finishing up the last few things. Oil change needs to be done on the center stand with the thick stick not screwed in. It takes about two and a half point eight liters, like I was mentioning before. Got spark plugs reinstalled and the radiator put back together just perfect in the system. Gotta make sure it's up at operating temperature. Letting it warm up, but I don't. Luckily, it's got a nice little cool temperature gauge. 86, 87 degrees, still slowly warming up. I'm assuming it's going to run around 100, but typically I just run it until the fans come on. That way you know you're up and operating temperature. Still getting a few bubbles out. 
get all the bubbles out and then put the cap back on it in the pan plate. Next up are brake pad chains. Stay tuned. Finished up the FZ6. Ended up not replacing brake pads. The ones that are in it are basically like new as far as wear goes. So I just took it apart, gave it a good clean, put it back together, and then took the bike for a ride, re-embedded the pads, and no more squeak. So the owner's super happy, saved her a few bucks because she can return the pads that she bought. So that's all buttoned up. Great success. She's going to come by tomorrow and pick it up. Hopefully the weather holds. If you enjoy these sorts of videos, me pursuing my passion, working on motorcycles, helping people out, volunteering my time, please like and subscribe for more.